Hello, my name is Mr. McDowell. I'd like to give you an overview of the GCSE PE course, or what we're calling GCSE Sports Science. I'm the head of PE at Henley and Arden School, and I'll be the one teaching and taking this cohort through year 9, 10 and 11. By choosing this course, you're going to be doing two hours extra, usually in the classroom, sometimes one hour in the classroom, and the second hour is a practical um, sport lesson or a practical theory lesson. Um, so this is in addition to your two hours core PE lesson. So even if you don't choose this course, you're still going to be doing two hours PE in the same way as you have in year seven and year eight. So I'm going to give you an overview of the course so you're a little bit more informed, but also give you a bit of a, an understanding of what kind of pupil can be successful on this course. Because it isn't for everyone and it's really important that you can now make a decision about your future. Now, in previous years, pupils have done very well on this course and that's because the right person has chosen the course. This year, last year and the year previous, since the new Edexcel criteria has come in, it is a little bit more challenging and you have to say that the breakdown of the course does lend itself to per the person who not only is good at practical performance, but also enjoys the classroom based activities and learning the theory about PE. Now, in terms of an overview of the course, it's 30% practical, so 30% practical performance, it's 10% coursework and a 60% exam. So 60% theory, um, it's made up of two papers uh, covering six topic areas. Now over three years, you will do six end of unit tests. Now, so these are smaller tests that you'll do across the three years. The end of year 10, you'll do a mock exam. The end of year 11, you'll do a mock exam, but then that will be followed up by your final exam. And it's the final exam that makes up 60% of your grade. In terms of your practical performance, it's 30% that's made up of 10% team sport, 10% an individual sport, and the final 10% is one or the other, either team or individual. Now, in terms of the practical side of the subject, if you represent the school at the moment, in football, netball, or athletics, or even basketball. That's fantastic. If you outside of school play for a club, or play at a table tennis team, or do gymnastics, or are a trampoliner, or you're really involved in dance, this is fantastic because you've already got a step up on the you know the rest of the people in the country. We will develop you across the three years, but it's very important that you have an interest in practical performance, but also competitive sport. Across the three years, you're gonna get opportunities to do some new sports. So it might mean that you find a third sport that you didn't already have. It might be that you really excel in certain sports because you're not only doing them at school, you're not only taking part um, in the school activities and the extracurricular PE that we provide and doing the sporting fixtures, but you're also playing at club level outside of school. In terms of the theory side, we do like to call it a sports science because it's very closely linked to science. If you know that you enjoy science, if you know that um, in the classroom you work well, I'm just going to take you through a breakdown of the course and the topic areas that we do. So we have anatomy and physiology, we have movement analysis, physical training, all in component one. In component two, we have health, fitness, and well-being, along with sports psychology and socio-cultural influences. These topic areas are spread out across the three years. And where possible, we try to teach them in a practical setting, 
but unfortunately it's unavoidable that we'll have to be in the classroom for the majority of the lessons that you do in your GCSE PE course. So that means following lesson plans, following homework plans and meeting deadlines. Now this comes into play a lot when we're doing the coursework. Now the coursework is 10%, so it's quite a, a large proportion of the course. It's important that you do well at it. That involves planning a personal exercise program, carrying it out, recording data, but then analyzing and evaluating that in order to produce a 1,500 word document, which will then go towards external assessment. Okay, so that's an overall view for a course. Um, hopefully you've got a better understanding of what it entails, and hopefully you're gonna be a suitable candidate that opts for this to start in September. Okay, thanks for listening. If there's any other information that you'd like to get clarified, if you would like to email me, that's absolutely fine. It's pmacdowell at henleyschool.com. Also, I have a website and that has an overview of the course, all the information I've talked about today, but also if you would like to have a, gra have a go at um, looking at the videos associated with each of the topic areas and doing a little bit of online learning in the lead up to September, then go ahead and look at that. It also has a breakdown of all the different sports that are involved because unfortunately there are certain sports that are not part of the Edexcel set sport list. Okay, so the website is www.henleyschool.com forward slash sport. So it's quite easy because it's the henleyschool.com forward slash sport. Okay, thanks for listening. Henley and Arden School, achieving excellence together.